G'day everyone, so in this video we're looking at the Kastov 762. So here's the attachments that I ended up going with for the final build. It's definitely not the, the greatest weapon out of all the ARs there, but it's still pretty good. It fits in nicely, and if you're doing the camo grind like me, you're going to have to level it up, or you're going to have to use it at some point, and this was a nice build. Now in some of the clips you'll see at the end, you'll notice that the weapon has a laser on it. That's because instead of using this grip down here, I was using the canted laser instead, but I, I wasn't a big fan of it. So I ended up taking the laser off and putting the rear grip on and ran it like that instead. If you run it like this or use the laser, it's completely up to you. Now in this video, I'm gonna be using the Taylor Drift Outcast script. You can download that one from the description of this video. It's also in the Taylor Drift Discord and there'll be a link to that in the description of this video as well. If you're new to this script, I recommend reading the instructions first. That way you know how to enter the menu, navigate the menu and change your values. The way you find the instructions is by simply dragging the script into the compiler of Zen Studio and there you'll find the instructions. All right, so I'm gonna quickly show you how to work out the anti-recoil for this one. Just like the last two videos, it's extremely easy and you're only going to need to use the rumble or legacy anti-recoil feature that you find in this script. So as usual, what you'll do is you'll choose either legacy or rumble. It doesn't matter which one you go with. This one just comes down to personal preference. Just pick either rumble or legacy and then go into uh, the settings for that one there. And then from here, all we need to do is start turning this vertical strength up. Okay, so you can start on whatever number you like. All right, I usually start on 10 personally. So you can do the same. You can start on 20 if you like. But again, like I said, personal preference, start on wherever you want. And then once you've uh, got a value that you've chosen, we're going to back out of that menu and test it on these bots here. So, let's aim, shoot. We can see it, it still kicks up there a bit, all right? So, we've still got a bit of recoil there. All right, and the aiming stability, sorry, the recoil stability on this weapon isn't the greatest either. So, some of these further shots can be a bit how you going, but, um, you know, these uh, closer shots, it gets the job done well. But either way, you can see it kicking up. So, we need to go in, and then we turn the anti-recoil up some more. Okay, it's very simple. That's all you need to do. You then back out and then test how that goes. So, much better, much better. Oops, obviously I'm terrible with my shots. Try again. But either way, you can see the recoil. The recoil is now pretty much non-existent. Let's wait for this longer one. Well, you moved on me. Now it's feeling... That was weird. But now it's feeling a lot nicer, right? So let's, again, longer one. There we go. Still feels like it kicks up just a tiny bit, right? You might not be able to see it on the video there, but as you're playing and as you're doing this yourself, you will be able to see or feel uh, it kicking up just a little bit there. So all you're going to do is just turn the anti-recoil up a little bit, okay? You don't have to keep going up by five. You can start going up or down by one at this point, okay? Just to fine tune it. So let's see what we got. One, make sure he's not going to move on me, right? There we go. The long distance ones you can always uh, mount up. You know, no issues there. Oh, fucking headshot, mate. But there you go. See, it's not always like that. It's just, it's just a weapon, really. A bit jumpy. But yeah, very simple. That's all you need to do, and you can start beaming. So follow that exact same process. Uh, you just choose the anti-recoil that you like. We don't have to worry about using the advanced anti-recoil in the script yet. Maybe once we start into, um, you know, Warzone 2 and we have to look at more long-range shots, then we can look at probably the advanced anti-recoil for some of the weapons. But for now, where it's majority multiplayer, that sort of thing, um, we can get away with just using the Legacy or the Rumble feature. So again, just choose whichever one you want and start turning that vertical strength up slowly. You'll eventually find that sweet spot. And again, the best part is here, <laughs> these things here, testing it with these bots that actually have aim assist on them. Perfect. So... Get out there, work it out. It's not going to take you very long at all. Uh, and then enjoy beaming actual people. Now, I'll quickly just run through the aim assist values that I've been using with this one. A lot of people have been asking now. It is extremely basic, okay? I'm not using that much at all. And every time I do this and show my aim assist values, a lot of people tend to ask, oh, what about this? Are you using this or are you using this? No, whatever I show you here is exactly what I'm using, all right? So, tailor assist, off. Steady aim, off. Hustler shape shift, off. Heroin AA, that one is on. Taylor, see, oh, back at the start. So, Karen AA, both L and R sticks. Okay, that's one I've got on. Rotational size 19, rotational speed 20, and boost on fire is off. Uh, so, boost size, and that doesn't matter because boost is off. So, rotational size 19, rotational speed 20, and I've got the AA on both L and R sticks. That's it. That's all I'm using for aim assist, and it works really well. And there we go. So, that's everything I needed to go through for the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask those down in the comments. For now, I'm going to leave you with some clips of me using this weapon. Cheers for watching. I'll see you next time. UAV 
There's a team right there. Oh, there's a sniper right there in the corner. Me saw by his. What the fuck is going on in the door? Fucking. Oh! You didn't fucking hate me! You don't fucking teabag someone if you didn't get, get fucking kill the kill, alright? Your teammate could have fucking teabagged me, but you don't! You're a fucking little loser, alright? You just got fucking. You almost got fucking finished. You're lucky your fucking teammate was there, you fucking loser. <laughs>